Thanks for watching This Week in Discovery News. I'm Trace, and this week we talk about snake's venom that might be good for you, a prosthetic Egyptian toe, and curiosity finding evidence of water on Mars. Yep, toes. Big toes, not little toes or middle toes, just the big ones. The prosthetics, there were two of them by the way, were found near modern day Luxor in Egypt. One of them is made from cartonage, which is like paper mache but with linen and plaster, and dates to about 600 BC, while the other toe is made of wood and leather and dates from 950 BC to about 710 BC. Both toes have holes for lacing, so you can attach them to a foot, to a sock, to a sandal. You don't wear socks with sandals. And they both show a lot of wear, so they were used pretty often. Now, if you haven't asked this already, then you weren't thinking about this hard enough. Why would you need a prosthetic big toe? Well, it has to do with the way Egyptian sandals were designed. Without the big toe, the sandal wouldn't stay on your foot. How do we know that that's what they're for? Well, they had some toeless volunteers put them on, of course. Turns out, fun fact, the wooden toe was a lot more comfortable. Stroll over to discoverynews.com slash Egyptfoot to see the toes and more details. This little piggy had a fake toe and the next little piggy discovered water on Mars. Okay, it's not actually water, but traces of where water used to be. Curiosity has been on Mars less than two months and it's already scratched off a major objective from its to-do list. Tim. Mm-hmm. Uh, the rover on Mars found water. Oh, that's fabulous. So. I'm gonna check it off right now. Check that off. I'm check. it's checked. Good. It's checked off. All right, good. Let's move on. Ah. Move on to the next one. They found water on Mars. <laughs> I like it. Scientists know there's water on the surface of Mars because of a rock near the Curiosity landing site. It looks like a jackhammered bit of sidewalk surrounded by little bits of gravel. And it's the gravel that's the key because it's too big to have been carried there by the wind, but it's definitely been smoothed out. NASA scientists are pretty sure that the rocks were deposited there by a strong flowing stream that was between ankle and knee deep. It could have been there for thousands or even millions of years. While water is one of the key ingredients to show that life once existed on Mars, it is not the only ingredient. There is another. Actually, there are a lot more ingredients, but this one is a pretty big one. If you want to know more, check out discoverynews.com slash marswater. Hopefully they found something on Mars that can do something as cool as this snake. The black mamba is one of the deadliest snakes on the planet, but something in their venom is a powerful painkiller. Who looks at snakes and says, I think your excretions might be better than morphine. Science is great. Also, there might be a that's what she said joke in there. When the black mamba bites you, the venom shuts down the ion channels to make it easier for the snake to eat you. A side effect is that you also have a very powerful painkiller. In snake venom are these compounds. So in snake venom are these compounds called mambalgins. Mambalgins. Mambal. Now scientists have isolated this mambalgin so that it only shuts down the ion channels and doesn't give you that crazy, you know, venomous death. The little bits of venom worked as well as morphine but with no toxic consequences. Sadly, the only way to test whether these mambalgins were working was to inject them into mice and then subject them to pain. In this case, they used really hot water. The mice who had an injection withdrew their paw slowly from this 115 degree water, whereas the mice who had not had the injections were like, what the F, this is hot! Or in mice talk, so like, Squeak, squeak. It will take years of further research to make this applicable to human painkillers, but for now, scientists can use this information to find out how pain works in general. If you want to get all the facts, visit discoverynews.com slash mamba venom. So that's all for this week. If you want more of our coverage, make sure that you like us on Facebook, you're following us on Twitter, and that you check out our Tumblr. You can also subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter and get our best headlines in your inbox every morning. Subscription options and links to social media are at discoverynews.com. Keep commenting and tweeting. I see them all. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. That would be freaky. Space snakes. Now we're ready to go. Okay. Jeff! Yeah! They found water on Mars. Phil. Yeah. Uh, they found water. Great. Jerome. What up? Carl. Yeah. They found water. Marco. Hola. Marshall. Yeah. There's water on Mars. The rover found it. Brother Joseph. Yes, Brother Todd. Great. Yeah. They found water on Mars. They found water! All right, check.